Um, someone who's in uh, IT at the moment, they want to get into cybersecurity. What is the easiest way for them to transition into a cybersecurity role? Yeah, we see people coming into cybersecurity from uh, different paths, for sure. Uh, it's a very fast growing uh, industry right now. Uh, it pays well. Uh, and so there's a lot of interest for folks to come in. For sure, um, yeah. I think over the last you know, decade, uh, a lot of learning institutions, colleges, universities have created um, uh, security uh, courses uh, or included more uh, you know, cybersecurity classwork uh, as part of a uh, computer science degree or engineering degrees uh, and the, or you know, IT administration um, uh, certificates. So I think that that is definitely an opportunity that wasn't there 10 years ago. Um, another way that we see a lot of people coming in is through uh, working in more traditional IT jobs. They get very familiar with, with all of the systems and the environment, uh, and it's a fairly straightforward uh, move over to the security side of the house uh, because of that, that familiarity uh, with uh, all the systems, especially as an engineer. Uh, on sure. the analyst side, one of the things that uh, we see is people moving in from kind of adjacent spaces. Uh, there are a lot of people with military background in cybersecurity. And I think uh, if you think through the, the role of um, you know, taking a defensive posture, uh, looking for attackers, uh, thinking through uh, the threat environment and the way that people uh, might try and uh, penetrate your defenses, uh, there's a lot in common with that mindset and so uh, definitely yeah yeah a big surprise for, a lot of those folks here. for sure yeah it's um I, i've actually seen a lot of people asking me in in the comment section of the youtube channel there um saying that they're coming from a military background and that they want to sort of transition over into cybersecurity and get away from a less i guess labor intensive uh physical mm -hmm. security role yep. and um yeah, certainly some of those clearances that they currently have definitely help them out getting a job in cybersecurity, especially within government if they need any sort of clearance um, there. You can sort of transition sometimes, but depending on where you're going, I guess, is what the requirements are. Um, so, yeah, it's it's an interesting one for, I guess, defense personnel, like you were saying. Um, but for everyone else, I guess, there's, there's sort of a set... Um, of certifications that a lot of people focus on to move from, um, I guess, like a system admin role into cybersecurity. So I guess that's sort of what the question was more about is um, like what sort of transition certifications or experience is usually required. Yeah, so as you point out, there's a number of different certifications out there. Uh, I think you know, one of the more common ones is a CISSP uh, certification. Um, there's a number of different bodies out there. Uh, SANS, S-A-N-S, is one organization that definitely provides a lot of training uh, to the industry, both for people looking to break into it and people that are already uh, in the industry. And um, uh, I think that uh, folks will also find if they search for cybersecurity training that there's a number of other kind of established uh, organizations out there that do provide a lot of that training for folks to learn more about um, the different uh, processes and tools uh, that are used uh, in cybersecurity. Yeah, I, I saw in that report, um, in your guys' report, that the CISSP was uh, at 34% of people who said they had a, a certification outside of their degree. Um, that was the most common one to go for. So it's it's certainly way up there, closely followed by um, some of the CompTIA ones and a CEH, which I would believe from the name anyway, that it's uh, focused more on ethical hacking rather than a defensive posture. But um, yeah, still a great certification to have, I guess. So yeah, CISSP is apparently the one to go for. <laughs> 